So you guys know you're messing with my Warriors game, so we need to get on. Yeah, I know. Let's go. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on just a minute. Okay, here we go. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, the meeting has now been called to order. Can we have, oh, I'm, I'm going to be doing the Pledge of Allegiance. So everybody put their right hands over their hearts. And you can just say this silently to yourself. I pledge allegiance to the flag, the flag of the United States of America, of America. And, and to the republic for which, which it stands, one, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and justice for all. OK. OK, PDG Esther is going to do the invocation. Okay, uh oh. Loving Heavenly Father, we come to you this hour asking for your blessing and help us as we gather together. We pray for guidance in the matters at hand and ask that you would clearly show, clearly show us how to conduct our work with a spirit of joy and enthusiasm give us the desire to find ways to excel in our work. Amen. Thank you. And um, I do not see our secretary in the waiting room, so, and he should have the previous, minutes of the previous meeting, so we'll skip him now. If he shows up later, we, he, he can uh, give his minutes. And our treasurer, uh, Lion Manson is uh, has a work meeting tonight, so he can't be here. So oh. that's uh, let's see. No, no, Clinton. Okay, so we'll just go ahead. Oh, I guess I have to do the roll call because Clinton's not here. So this is going to go really fast, guys. We'll get you oh. back to the Warriors game. Um, San Francisco Ada? No. San Francisco Bay Area? No. San Francisco Bay New Century? No. San Francisco Bayview Hunters Point? No. San Francisco Buddha? No. San Francisco Chinatown? No. San Francisco Circle? Chinatown's here. Oh, Chinatown's here. Okay. San Francisco Circle? No. San Francisco Cosmopolitan? No. San Francisco Dynamics? No. San Francisco Phil Am? Phil Am's here. Okay. San Francisco Financial Rescue? No. San Francisco Geneva Excelsior. Yes, I'm here. San Francisco Global yeah, Art. San Francisco Global Art Cyber. No. San Francisco Global Business. No. San Francisco Global Healthcare Cyber. No. San Francisco Healthcare Providers Cyber. No. San Francisco Highlands. No. San Francisco Hispanics? No. San Francisco Host? No. San Francisco Keystone? San Francisco Korean American? San Francisco Unidos? San Francisco Marina North Beach? Esther, you're here. <laughs> we had to say yeah. Marina Marina North Beach would be <laughs> Esther. She's on, call. she's on the call. She's on the call. said hi. Present. San Francisco Nikki. San Francisco Vizcaya. San Francisco Ocean Ingleside. San Francisco Park Presidio Sunset. 
San Francisco premiere? Here. Yeah. <laughs> San Francisco premiere is here. Two, two of Sharon. Two of you, okay. Yeah. Uh, San Francisco Special Choir? No. San Francisco Unified? Here. Okay. San Francisco Veterans? One only, CJ. Okay. <laughs> well, you're you're the most important one. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Sure. San Francisco, I mean San Francisco Silicon Valley Global Innovation. No. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Six clubs present. You actually have eight, Sharon. Oh, I do. Who didn't? Who didn't say here? You have San Francisco Chinatown, Phil Am, Geneva Excelsior, Marina North Beach, Merced Heights, Premier Uni Unified, and Veterans. Okay. San Francisco House. San Francisco House too. San Francisco oh, House San Francisco called Francisco in House after you started okay. to rock. So now you have nine. Let, let's go. Let, let's go see what what I have. Here. San Francisco Chinatown. Yes. San Francisco Phil Am. Yes. San Francisco Geneva Excelsior. Yes. San Francisco Marina North Beach. Yes. San Francisco Merced Heights. Yes. Okay. San Francisco Premier. Yes. San Francisco. Like Just wait a minute. San Francisco Unified? Yes. San Francisco Veterans? Yes. And then San Francisco Host? Yes. Is that it? Mm -hmm. They're not here, Sharon, but you know, um, one vet, one voice, Lions, you didn't call. One vet, one voice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have them. I got these out of the directory and I didn't have them. Right. They should be in the directory, but they're not here anyway. One vet, one voice? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, so if I have to do this again, I have them now. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold on just a second. Let me get the screen back. Oh, it's there. Okay. Where's my agenda? Okay, it's the roll call. Okay, introduction of dignitaries. Well, I think you're all dignitaries. <laughs> We're special 13. All the dignitaries are here tonight. Now, do we have any zone or region chairs that want to say hello? Hi, uh, it's Vicky. Vicky's here. Okay, how about Past San Francisco Coordinating Council Lion Clubs president. Oh, we well, are here. Past Coordinating <laughs> Council of Lions. Okay. All right. Any past uh, presidents of the Peninsula Coordinating Council of Lions? Yes. The Council of Lions? Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, past district governors? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Esther. Uh, any any current cabinet officers? No. Okay. Right. There you go. Yeah, Vicky and August. Vicky and who? August. Oh. Oh. And Clayton. Second BDG. Good evening, Sharon. Hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, we, we, I was just with them on Monday night. Uh, okay, so are How there. Come that I lost my name. I don't know. I lost all the pictures. I don't have any pictures of anybody. I went into gallery. I'll edit. Oh, okay. I'll change it. Your name is iPad. Okay. I know. I will uh, change it. And I, I didn't see any special guests tonight, so we can skip that. 
Is there any old business? The police uh -huh. department's awards. Okay. Yeah, I have that. Well, actually, okay. We could do that as old news. Okay. Do we have a Esther is the committee chairperson. So do we have an SDK? Oh, um, I think we had the we had the meeting and I'm still working on the remember I'm going to borrow the utensils and stuff that we needed so that we don't have to pay those extra fees, rentals. Okay. So I think our Lion Rufo is just on the way back to San Francisco. So he was in uh, Hawaii for, uh, I think, Mason Convention. So I saw in on Facebook, she's from Maui to, to the plane, <laughs> to uh, SF, I think. So I'll check with him again because uh, he hasn't returned the call. And I've checked with Vicky also on the tablecloth and she's going to work on it. But okay. CJ will check for us whether it's a six feet or eight feet table. Line CJ, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, somebody's got a, another device open. Oh, I closed I close mine. You're getting an echo. So, um, the sheriff's department have sent me five people to be honored and they've already sent me the bios and the photos. So who do you want to receive these? Send them to, send them to uh, PDG Esther. Yeah. And we also have six from the firefighter. And as usual, we don't have the, uh, the police again. And uh, so I sent him a, a pretty long text and I said, please work on it because we're holding up everything for your list because I don't want it to be like a mess, you know, when yeah. people get in and because you got the names of the people the night before and then they're changing awardees. So I told him I would appreciate or the council would appreciate it you know if we can receive them even though we don't have to get all 10 I think he's going for 10 that's why he's making it so difficult for himself mm -hmm. uh, he wants one from each this from each yeah disc. first station yeah so yeah. um I haven't heard uh, a return call or a text from him uh Sharon Okay, let me and see if I can get a hold of them. I even gave him a deadline. Yeah, I'll see if I can get a hold of them. Because I have a friend that that is uh, very close to him. So maybe she can get get a message to him to please give you a call. Uh, and then um, on the firefighters, PGG Esther, do, they, do you have the bios for them? No, oh, but... The uh, what's his name, Jonathan Baxter. Yeah. They have the same bio because it's the, I think it's the fire on, in Sunset District. So it will be the six people from there. So there's one bio probably for all of them. Okay, and you have their names? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay. All right, well, that's good. All right. He's very good. He's been... He's the one who's checking with me every time. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's very good. All right, well, any other news, updates on anything? Uh, PDG, Eugene, do you wanna talk about your, anything for the dinner? Is he there? Uh, Lion, <clears throat> President Sharon, I wanted to ask, how long should we wait for the police to respond? Well, I think they should better respond pretty soon because like PDG Esther says, we've got to get all this stuff in place. We have to get all that information in the program, right? 
Not people only that, the people need to and select. The laps. People need to select who they want to sponsor. Right. We should have all those names for the May meeting since the event is in June, so right. that the clubs can pick who they want to sponsor. That's right, because yeah. we usually post the ten and people yes. and the clubs pick from the ten. Right. Okay. All right. So, do you want to make the deadline for the the May uh, general meeting, which is going to be? And, no, that's too. No, close. it needs to be this month. Need to be this month. I in told April? him Friday. Yeah. You mean April? Yes. Well, okay. You, you, I don't know. If, well, I mean, <laughs> we were, Line Sharon, we wanted to be as organized as when we did the, the installation, the multi club installation. Oh, no. So, no. No. no, I agree. Well, if you think we can get a hold of him, if he doesn't have the people, we'll just have to tell him if he doesn't have the names for us, um, then we'll just have to, I guess we'll just have to do without the police. Which yeah. Would be a shame, but. It's a shame, but, uh, you know, we can't be waiting for them forever. And yes. the thing is, uh, like the firefighter, they gave their list long time ago. And they were ready with the names. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they've been checking every time we sit on. And we keep, they, we keep changing the date on them. And they were uh, pretty good with it, even though we're changing the dates all the time and yeah. the venue. But, you know, I, I said, we just have to say, oh, we're still waiting for one group. You know, I mean, we, we can look at Lydia. She got her line. Lydia got her list. I know. So but you both you and 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 Lion Lydia have good relationships with your with your awardee. I mean, with she with the sheriff and you with the fire. And the problem is that, like you said, it, it just seems like every year it takes the police department a long time to get their act together. Mm -hmm. And I know that okay. they're 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 under extreme pressure because they're short five hundred officers. And you know everybody. Mm -hmm. I think everybody saw the notice from the governor where he's sending in the highway patrol and the what was the National other one? Guard. National so Guard. I think National you know they're so swamped with uh, their work. So you know, let's keep it. I told him um, we need it by the thirtieth <laughs> at okay. the latest. All right. And well, you don't. And you don't have to have ten, Sharon. If he know right now five people, he needs to submit them. Okay. Well, that's that's for Esther. You're you're in charge of that, Esther. Yeah, so we can do that, Esther. And so before we, I even we even go directly to Marina, the Marina station. Uh -huh. Leland used to go there and talk to them the, himself. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, if he has the five, that's good enough for us. So okay, we well, have five, mm -hmm. six. 11, uh, 11, 16. Okay. Well, like I said, I'll try and get a hold of him tomorrow, but, you know, I can't promise that I can reach him, but I'll try. Madam, or I'll email, but I don't want to, to email the chief. I have his contact number too, but I don't want to do that because he was already delegated with the duty and it won't look good for him if I do it directly. No, but you have to remember he's he's retired. He's come back as a as a retiree and he doesn't work more. I, I forgot what the, he said. Six or eight hours a week is all he works. So, you know. And he has a lot of so maybe he can delegate it to somebody, you know. I don't know, but We'll, we'll, like you said, we'll make it. We'll let him know that the the deadline is the thirtieth, and if he, if he can give us fewer than ten names, we'll take whatever he can give us. If it's one or two or five or whatever, but we have to have something by the thirtieth, or we will have to, um, you know. Their pictures. Just tell them their pictures won't appear in the program book. Don't tell them you're just not going to do them. Just no, say no. their pictures, their bios, their information will not appear in the program book. Okay. And sometimes that's, that's okay. a good incentive to get them to send it in. Okay, that's that's good. Thank you. 
Okay, so. Madam Chair, two things. Hello? Who's that? CJ? Yes. Uh, if I could, if I could, um, Chair Sharon? Yes. Uh, yes, yeah, so I guess one thing, I don't know if we could suggest uh, maybe an idea for him to help get him to do this. If they, if he could put in like the police that, that helped uh, Pelosi's husband, that could be a good idea for, uh, for him to recommend them. Okay. CJ, having worked in law enforcement, I'm a retiree from the Sheriff's Department. Uh, yeah. They have already a list of people that have gone above and beyond the call of duty. It's just a matter of them going to that list and submitting this to us because they also uh, recognize these people at other events as well. So, I mean, oh. for us to tell them who to do, we don't, we really shouldn't have to do that. They already know what their officers have been doing out there in the community. Okay. Yeah, yeah, probably. I'm sure the captain knows his people, you know, for station. Okay. The Rotary Club also do this because uh, I know the Sheriff's Department submit names to that as well. Yeah. So, I have another question about the event. Did we ever come up with the cost and the time? Yeah, there's a flyer. Where is the flyer? Is it on the, on the thread? I think um, so. Is I think it? so. I got the copy. I need to get the flyer so I can promote it. I, you know, I like to send the flyer to the sheriff's department so other sheriffs there hopefully will reach out and purchase tickets to mm -hmm. attend. Sure. Um, I think August got it up for Sunday. It should have okay. been on the Sunday thread. Okay. Okay. So, so what's the price? What's the cost of a ticket? I don't know. I think it's, I don't know. I think it's 75. 75? Yeah, I know that we oh. talked about, um, yes, it's it's expensive because the catering is expensive. That's what, that's why it took us so long to get a caterer in a place. Because uh, the, they're just, <clears throat> you know, all of those people are hurting because of the pandemic and they're just beginning to get business back up running now so the, the, you know it's going to be expensive yes pdg you mean? thank you line sharon are you saying that if we don't hear from the police we will just go ahead with the firefighter and the sheriff without the police please clarify well i think pdg uh, lydia had a good suggestion that we uh you know, we just say that we won't be able to get the pictures and the bios in the program if we don't get it by the end of the month. But that doesn't prohibit them from coming in later on and with their names, of their nominees. And we, you know, can stress, I mean, PDG Esther knows how to handle this. She's been doing it forever. Uh, they can also, you know, we can let them know that we, that we can use what, however many they can get. They don't have to, it doesn't have to be 10. doesn't have to be one from each station. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's up to the, that's up to the committee. That's not, that's not my decision. That's up to the committee to decide. Yeah, hopefully we should, we hear from him because I did put a date on my email We'd like to hear from him. We, we, really, we really appreciate it if we hear from you because everything is on hold. You know, I didn't want, I want them to feel sorry that, you know, it's keeping everything on hold. So I said, will you please, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I want, I don't, I trust PDG Esther to do a fabulous job in her committee. So I'm staying out of it. I'm not going to, tell them what to do or what not to do. It's up to them. So uh, if you have any suggestions for them, that's that's great, but it's the final decision will be theirs. Okay, do we have any? So we, we love to see what happens on the 30th because I did tell them 30th. 
Okay, that's great. Okay, so anybody else have any other business we, they want to talk about? Okay, I'm 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 I cannot understand you. There's there's an echo. Okay. Line many. They must have another computer or something in the same room. Oh, um, I just want to bring up something, Lion Sharon. Yes. Uh, I got a feedback that they like the walk, but uh, they did ask, how come you didn't walk out of the out of the park. Walk out I of said, the park? Yeah, outside. Because uh, we, they wanted the, the other people to get involved instead of just us. He said, well, why, how come there are no other people? I said, well, this is the first time we're doing it. So, you know. Well, we did have a uh, uh, line, uh, Reverend Oaks had some of the volunteers go around to the folks in the in the park and ask them to join us and i think you did pick up some people um we did have fly we did have banners outside the park itself you know announce, announcing the walk and where to go um, uh, but it, was, it was a decision of the committee that we do it there at gellert park and use the track to walk. Um, okay. So, I mean, I guess we could have walked around outside, but we yeah. we wanted to make it so that if, if people were not capable of walking long distance, they could just do the short track and then, you know, they don't have, like, I think uh, some people did two or three laps, but that really wasn't necessary. And I kept cautioning people to go at their own pace because I didn't want anybody to overdo it and fall or, you know, faint or whatever can happen when you overexert yourself. So I think, I think that, it that, was a good test run for us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, you know, like you said, this was the first time. So maybe if this is being done, it's going to be done next year or in following years, they'll have, they'll have at least what we did, what we did right, what we did wrong, what worked and what didn't work. Yeah, so. I, I, I'd like to bring up something. Uh, there is one event like this in the city. And I remember that the Pacifica joined and they had the tent and they were able to write, raise $5,000 at the tent. Yeah, well, you know, I tried very hard to get the walk in San Francisco, but the, the cost and the rules and the permitting that we would have had to go through to get it was just, you know, it was ridiculously expensive. And uh, we were able to, um, Reverend Leonard Oaks was able to get the city of Daly City to forgive all the fees for us, all the permits and everything. So those were extra costs that we didn't have to bear. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so I mean, he really did a lot of work. He, he, he reached out to the schools. He reached out to a lot of medical groups to get the health fair part done. Uh, and, you know, uh, so, and, and of course, Lion August did yeoman job and setting everything up and doing all the, uh, the all of the digital stuff for ordering the t-shirts and keeping track of that. And, and he went and did the banners for us and all the little signage that we had up at the tables and stuff. He did all that. So everybody tried. And our, our, advisor, Mike, our, our advisor, Michael Cofaro, did all the emergency kits. Oh, he, bought, he, bought, he bought all the materials and filled them. And I think we had like 100 kits. Yeah. So everybody did their part and did a great job. And so I have no complaints. I'm just thrilled that we, that we were able to put something together and that it worked pretty well. Uh, like I say, there are probably some things we could have done better, but I think for the first time it was 
I think kudos. Yeah, it's something. a good start, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Next time, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so, thank you. Sure. Okay, anybody else have anything before we move on to club reports? Okay, if not, I'm going to go on to the club reports. Okay, San Francisco Chinatown. They're not. Are they there? They're not here. Oh, no, Lion. PDG Eugene. <laughs> July 1st. July 1st. July 1st. Uh, no report. No report. Okay. <laughs> San Francisco, Geneva, Excelsior. Well, we just had our uh, YNC raffle result, and we, it was very successful. Um, one of our club members won the first prize, which was $1,000. And I want to tell wow. everybody, it wasn't fixed. It was a fair draw. It just, <laughs> it just happened that he, uh, he had the winning ticket. I can't remember what the total was. I think it was something like $8,000 or something we, we raised on that. And we had, wow. a very, we had a very successful crab feed this year, too. But um, I do want you know encourage the clubs. This is a the clubs. This is a great way to raise money for your clubs and get a, a uh, get credit for doing an activity. Every we have the uh, the the tickets are come in a book of ten, and out of the, those ten dollars that you raise with that selling that one book, you get to keep seven dollars. So it's really and then I don't think it's I mean PDG. Uh, yeah, PDG Lydia did a fantastic job with her club, and they sold quite a few tickets. So it's just a good way to make a little extra money for your club, and it's not a, doesn't really take a lot of work or energy to do it. So think about it for next year. Yeah, we'll join next year. I heard about it. Uh, uh, you had no more tickets, I think, something like that. I think I talked to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we ran out. I mean, we had to put a deadline on it. And so I don't have anything to do with it. Our treasurer runs that whole thing himself. and does a yeoman's job. He's just really fantastic. His name is Lion. Um, I thought I forgot his name. <laughs> I switched the job, yeah. Workman. Workman, yeah, Lyle Workman. Oh, Lyle. Lyle. Lyle, Lyle Workman. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's see, San Francisco host, do you have a report? <laughs> well, <laughs> you guys have, you guys have, must have two devices in the same room. Because normally you wouldn't get an echo unless you have two, you know, like a phone, a cell phone, and a tablet or, or laptop or something. But you, you have to close one of them or move to the other, another room. So we'll just move on. Uh, San Francisco host, did they? No. Okay, we have a, we have a report. Okay, a, uh, here's a lion money. money. Okay, we'll try. We have two major <laughs> events. First, the food bank <laughs> distribution, and then the next one is blood drive. On the food bank, we have three sites, Threshold Clinic in Daly City, Tiglia Community Center in Daly City, and also the United Methodist Church, which is every Saturday. And this is continuous. Uh, we started this like two or three years ago, and then until now, we, we are still doing it. Okay. We are serving like a thousand uh, people in every site. Okay. And then on the blood drive, we have three sites. Mater Dolorosa Church, and then St. Augustine. And then it's going to be um, in, in 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I, I'm not sure that with that. September. That will be September 9th. Okay. So those are the major events of San Francisco Host Lions Club. Okay. So That's don't don't forget to send an email to the secretary so he can add this to the minutes. Okay, I think I skipped Phil Am. Is there anybody here from Phil Am? Yeah, there's two. No report. Okay. Um, San, San Francisco Marina, North Beach. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. There's a report from my club. August told me. Uh, oh. We have we have a San Francisco Marine Food Bank scheduled activity on <laughs> April 29, and uh, our Leos are participating in uh, Leos Symposium. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> sorry, August. Okay. Uh, San Francisco Marina, North Beach. Okay, we are participating in the Latinos Unidos Health Fair on April 30th. And uh, I am uh, doing the vision screening and also training five members of the San Francisco Cosmopolitan Lions to do the vision screening at the, uh, at the event. And uh, we participated in the diabetes uh, awareness stride walk. And we have five new prospective members and they said they will attend the next meeting and they have all the forms. I'm just waiting for their dues and the forms. Thank you, that's it. Thank you. San Francisco Merced Heights. Yes, I have a report. Uh, as Sharon said, um, San Francisco Merced Heights participated in the YCA raffle. We actually raised $1,400. And we sold four of the winning tickets. As a matter of fact, second place was sold by Merced Heights. Uh, Lions wow. Club. We had a $500 winner, two $100 winners, and a $50 winner. And we also uh, hosted candidate night with our club. And we were able to host line Cindy Zing and line Jimmy Ness who attended and spoke to us about their running for second vice district governor. And we have two members will be attending the convention in Reading. And our May meeting, we hope we will host candidate Carol Fong and we continue to escort seniors to doctor's appointments. And one of our members escorted 36 uh, seniors to a senior luncheon. Wow. So that's my report. Thank you. And that Thank one you. member wasn't me. I was the one escorting them. Oh. It was another member. Congratulations <laughs> on the win. I, I thought you were the one who won again. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I, you know what, Lion Esther? We always sell winning tickets, but do you know that I, Lydia, have never won? <laughs> we always sell some winning tickets, <laughs> but I, I have never been one of the ones. I thought you've done that, yeah. Yeah, because we sold the car twice. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I'm remembering. Yes. Okay. That's okay. I, I donate the second prize, and I've never won. Okay. <laughs> uh, San Francisco Unified. I have a small report uh, to share. Um, so we did our first Lion Business Networking event um, that was very successful. Uh, we had 28 people turn out and three actually became Lions members because that's the intent of the event was to recruit and also to support the community by helping the, uh, I wanna say the younger uh, professionals learn about Lions Club and also join us. So that was fantastic. Um, and we did a new bar in, uh, in the Mission District in Excelsior. Uh, we just successfully did two weekends of the Cherry Blossom Festival. Uh, we, uh, this has been the most successful fundraiser ever in the seven years of our lifetime of our uh, club. We earned over 18,000 just to share. 
that was very successful. Um, and uh, upcoming that events that we know. have. Uh, actually, no, we, there was another uh, um, thing that we did that was very successful. We gave 660 pairs of shoes to Project Pearl. Um, and I think the uh, majority of the Filipinos in the community may be aware of it. It's a nonprofit out of the Philippines, about 14 years in the creation. Uh, and they have a 501c3 here in the Bay Area in San Francisco. And uh, so we donated, like I said, 660 pairs of shoes along with Dear Community that gave 400 pairs of uh, socks to a company. Uh, we actually anticipate they'll give us another 260 pairs. Um, that was successful. Uh, we are uh, sending volunteers to the APA Heritage Week, the event on May 3rd in the City Hall War Memorial. Uh, along with that, we had, uh, we had um, um, members attend the Strides for Diabetes. Um, the upcoming events that are big for us uh, is uh, Get Your Rear in Gear on July 30th at Lake Merced. And finally, the last uh, uh, part of uh, our um, uh, year that we're gonna, we're gonna uh, partake is, or actually put together is Lion, the second annual San Francisco Unified Lion Dance Festival in Chinatown. That's gonna take place on August 12th. So we'd love to see all of your beautiful faces and see if you wanna volunteer and collaborate with us. So let us know, there's a lot of great things happening in the club and uh, thank you for the time to share. You're welcome, thank you. Did San Francisco Premier have a report? Yes. Okay. I have three, um, I will read the report in here. The first one is, um, we collaborated with the uh, Strides for Diabetes Awareness last April 20, 22nd, last Saturday. Uh, number two is that um, we'll be a major participant in the upcoming health fair of Latinos Unidos in St. Peter Church this coming Sunday, April 30. We have 15 RN volunteers from Kaiser and as a premier to do cholesterol, glucose, and uh, blood pressure screening. We'll do also health education in Spanish regarding diabetes and hypertension. And the number two item will be represent, represented by our student speaker in the district level on April 30, the same day. Yeah. Same oh, okay. So those are the three items that uh, we are into involved. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, thank San Francisco you. veterans. Yes, thank you, Lion Sharon. Uh, so I just got back from Switzerland for the United Nations Day. Uh, so that's going to be a big thrust for our club coming up. As you know, all know, I went to the New York uh, one the month before. And so we're making some really great con uh, contacts and connections, and we're looking to put that in motion. So we already have our. Um, Peace poster display up in the memorial lobby. Um, and like uh, President Tran said, we have a lot going on with the AAPI. We're going to start a gallery exhibit uh, that's opening next week. And then we will be at the Coast Guard Island on May 10th for their AAPI ceremony. We're just going to have cake, cake there for the Coast Guard people there. Um, Let's see, also collaboration, you know, is big for us. So uh, the peace poster is a collaboration with the uh, Peninsula Cyber Alliance. And uh, we're also doing, you know, with the Cosmopolitans, we're trying to work the concession stand at all the Giants home games on the weekends. Uh, so as you know, we have a big convention month coming up next month. I have conventions every weekend of next month. So if anyone's free to help us, so Helen and I will be out of town. We're not able to help. But if any Lions want to come join us at the concession stand, it's it's really awesome that they allow us to do that. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, I don't know if I should mention this. I'm trying to host our next coordinating council meeting 
at the Veterans Memorial so that you all can see where we're having our, you know, awards dinner. Okay. But this is kind of premature. Um, uh, like I said, a lot of my club members, and especially the Secretary Helen, they're out of town. Uh, but that's the plan. Um, and uh, Sharon and August, I can talk to you further about this, but I would like you guys to see the layout of the facility. And so we're gonna try to get our lobby exhibit extended through June, past June for the award dinner so that everyone can see it because it's phenomenal. Oh, that'd be nice. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but, I think so I would like I'd like to host that that the next club meeting and then that way we could go through the rooms and see exactly how we're gonna set it up with the buffet and I think that will answer a lot of questions. Okay. Um, you wanna host the next meeting? Yeah, uh, well, like I said, that's the idea. Uh, this would be a first for us, and it's quite an undertaking. Uh, but, I mean, we could have done it today with just the, the six clubs. Uh, so we would expect, like, 35 people. And, uh, like I said, trying to feed that many and trying to get the logistics to, together. Uh, like I said, it's just something that's running through my mind. So I have not run it by my club at all. Okay, because uh, <clears throat> we'll have to talk, we'll have to discuss that at the board because I think the uh, usually in May, we do a joint meeting with the uh, Peninsula Council of oh, Life. Oh, gotcha. So, but I, you know, we can we we let let us talk with the, about this to the board and see what they want to do and also uh, with President Brian Clayton from uh, PCL. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. And speaking of President Brian Clayton Jolly, you're up next. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that was a great segue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh... President uh, Sharon, I appreciate the opportunity to address the San Francisco Council. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the uh, Diabetes uh, Strides Walk in the park. That was uh, uh, quite a nice event and looked like you guys had a pretty good turnout. Uh, I wanna thank uh, Lion August and uh, Sharon for coming to our PCL meeting on Monday night. We had a great um, candidates night with all three candidates. Um, and Lion, Kevin, and myself having short speeches, uh, well received, and some fantastic uh, Mexican food from Spanish Town. Uh, we oh. have a number of items coming up for our May meeting, including some changes, uh, proposed changes to our constitution and bylaws, and uh, election of our slate of officers for next year. Um, because our date. Um, perspective date was Monday, um, the Monday after the convention. We are looking at doing it by Zoom. Um, so if you guys are interested in doing uh, a joint meeting um, at this time, that has kind of been our plan because it's so close to the convention. But uh, Sharon and I can talk about that uh, moving forward. Uh, anyway, it's good to see everybody. Um, thanks for uh, allowing me to come to your meeting. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Okay. Uh, hopefully, see you all at the convention. Uh, be great to uh, bop around the hotel and run into everybody there. Thank you. Thank you. And um, speaking for myself, I had a great time at your meeting on Monday, and the food was fantastic. So thank I'm you. Glad you enjoyed it. And there was plenty of it. <laughs> <laughs> and FYI, Mary Kay Jolly was one of my winners from my YCA drawing. That's right. I saw her name. I saw yeah. her name. I think you sold her the ticket, Lydia. Yes, I did. As a matter of fact, I sold all four of the winning tickets. Wow. Even the first prize one? Even the second prize one. I sold that one too. Yeah, Nicely okay. done. All right. 
Well, next time we know where to go get our tickets. We'll buy from you instead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I see that uh, first VDG uh, line, Kevin Guest is not with us this evening. And the district governor is not with us this evening. So um, I He's don't in know. Hawaii. Pardon me? He's in Hawaii. Oh, well, okay. Uh, so I don't know if you want to do open discussion because we kind of already have done that, but that's up to you. I don't have so any are yours. <laughs> I don't have anything else on the agenda. Sharon, uh, immediate past district governor has his hand up. Uh oh, I can't see. <laughs> Dr. It? Valera. Oh, okay, but, sure. Dr. Valera. Thank you. Thank you very much through the chair. Uh, this is regarding our district convention, being the chair for the uh, uh, registration. Uh, I would like that, uh, make sure that clubs pay their dues. If you haven't, or if you haven't received any communication from our cabinet secretary, Lion Denise, regarding if there's, an, if there's some, uh, membership dues from LCI or MD4 and C4, or the number of delegates you have, please communicate with her. Make sure that you pay all your dues. We encourage each and every club to participate in our democratic process. It's very important. And please register as early as possible because time is running short. Sure. So thank you very much. And uh, see you in Reading. Thank you. I'm sorry I missed you. I didn't see your hand. At... Oh, Fanny, PDG Fanny Chu. Uh, yes. Hi, everybody. Uh, to tack on what uh, uh, Dr. Jun was saying, I am in charge of uh, uh, the uh, housing for, for the convention and with a lot of help, almost all the help from Line Denise. So if you have any question on housing, uh, you can get hold of me or best get hold of uh, Denise. So far, everything is moving along, but we are still short on numbers to fulfill the hotel quota. So I will urge the council to uh, San Francisco council to reach out to all your lines club and encourage them to not only register, like uh, Dr. Jean was saying, register to attend, support the district, uh, and also vote because it, it, you, are, you are voting for your future leader. But we are also, I would like to have uh, you support the district in a way it's like uh, register roommate together, but uh, use the uh, district assigned hotel and also uh, sign up for the meals too. You know, in order for the district to come out ahead, we have to agree to certain number. So we need to, all the all the members uh, to support our district. So if the council can help us uh, urge all members uh, while they register is also to use the district uh, assigned hotel and sign up for the news also. Thank you. Thank you. And somebody else has their hand up. I can't see who it is. Hey. Pastor Lee. Yes. Uh, since we're talking about convention, I'm inviting you to register for the Boston International Convention. And also, uh, we I will be shortly putting out the ticket spice to do your reservation for our caucus dinner dance at the Boston Copley Plaza on July 9th, if you're going to the convention. We need also to meet our numbers at the hotel. I think the hotel itself is filled already for the registration, but for our caucus dinner dance, we need the numbers. So please register and to remind you, we're using the same red uniform worn in Montreal. So they're not changing it. 
So it's the red uniform from Montreal and it's from uh, Access Uniform from Burlingame. So uh, we'll send all the notice uh, in a few days. Also, we have pins and we're only selling it at $1.50. Okay, so we have pins and then flags are free that you are going to whip and we're making it a little bigger this time. So I hope you reg register and join us at the International Convention. It's quite an experience. Thank you. Thank you. So how do we get a pin if we want to buy a pin? A pin? Yeah, we will also put out uh, a ticket spice to order your pin. You can pay online and then it will be given to you. We bag them all individually for your orders. Okay. All righty. Anybody else? Is there another hand up? Oh, let me take it out. Wilma. Wilma has her hand up. Wilma Narona. Yeah, Wilma. I don't. I'd like to find out when is the deadline for submission of the delegates' names for the district convention. I just threw that in the trash. I think it's in the memo that was sent to you. I think May six. I think it's May 6th, where is uh, my thing? Let's see. I have it here. Um, <laughs> it's due, you submit your form by 5 p.m. on May the 18th. Oh, the form, okay. Yeah, the delicate form, that's what she's asking about. Oh, okay. Right? And then you have to um, make sure you get certified by Friday, May the 19th, before 10 p.m. Okay. Okay. Wilma? All righty. I just happen to have this. Thank I, you. I Thank just you. printed it out for my club. All right. Anybody else have anything to add? Okay. Dr. Jim, that is, you know. Just, just to clarify, on the the May six is the uh, the deadline for submitting hotel reservation that you have a oh, discount, okay. discounted rate. But for the delegate, uh, PDG Lija is correct, still on May eighteen. But please submit your delegate, su submit as early as possible, so that if there's some change, you can always change it. And and Dr. Thank you. Jim, the, yeah. the date what you, when you was telling them to make sure they pay all their club dues, they must be postmarked and paid by May the sixth. Okay. But but the payment is also confusing because uh Lion Dennis sent letter that you have to pay this this amount uh, and you, and you can vote but there are some clubs that accumulate accumulating uh, bills for the, uh, there's a lot of club adding new members so if you check your lci website there are a lot of club that is you know uh, the, the uh, membership dues something like that but the the payment is I'm not sure on that. We have to clarify on that because it's the, on the letter form. that Dennis on this form she sent out. I'm on yeah, but, the form. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the 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 posted means that you should have no balance, but there's a specific time because then Lion Dennis sent already email that if you pay this amount of juice you are already ready to go. But still, even if you pay, a lot of clubs accumulating bills. Mm. There's a lot of club submitting new members. So we have to clarify on that. And I will ask Lion Denise to make a clarification so that we will not be confused. 
And when they add the new members, that does not change their delicate count that has already yes, been sent absolutely. to her from LCI. Yes, absolutely. That doesn't change. <laughs> He's been lying. Thank Denise you. is getting confused. He said that <laughs> he keeps telling us we have to pay our dues, but he, he, uh, she confused us with another club. <laughs> oh. My 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 okay. suggestion is my my suggestion to the uh, lots of club is make sure when you go to LCI you don't have any outstanding dues even if it is charged because last last week we don't have a a bill but we added and it's now posted so we are we all now port six dollars so make sure that you pay all your dues although. LCI keep on posting new bills every week. They keep on posting bills or or juice every week. Is that including the shopping of items? Yes, there are some clubs that ordered uh, not related not related to membership juice. I I know that some bucks for 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 their shipment of eyeglasses, something like that. Yeah, it clearly says all club payments to LCI yeah. and 4C4 must be posted as paid by May 6th. So that includes your outstanding bills for paraphernalia that you have ordered. Yes. That's why I don't order nothing. <laughs> so. Okay, another uh, question. So uh, for every... 10 members, you get one delegate. Is that correct? That is correct. But there's also a timeline for that. They have to be members by a certain- March. Yeah. 2022. Exactly. And if you have 39, you round it up to 40? Yes. yes. Lion, will my even increments of five? is one yeah i think lion denise received a specific number of delegates per club yeah lci sent that to her already so she yeah. should have already sent you your delicate count she's i got mine for my club i know how many and I also know how many PDGs we have that's qualified to vote as well. So I can and answer anything know, about this club, club delegate if you want. If your club owes money at, to any of these organizations, LCI, MD4, 4C4, and you have a past district governor in your club, you will prevent that past district governor from voting as well, not just your delegate. So you need to make sure your bills are paid. We don't have a PDG in our club yet anyway. I'll work on it, girl. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Done. Thank you both, all of you. Okay, okay. anybody else want to talk yeah. before I ring the bell? I'm going to the Warriors game now, y'all. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Everybody okay. have a good evening. I'll get this information to you, Esther, okay? Okay. Thank okay, you. good night, all. Good night. Okay, since people are good starting night. To, good, night. Good, night. Please, I'm gonna, good night. I'm going to now, I am gonna now adjourn the meeting. Okay, 8.15. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good meeting. Bye-bye.